women thrive off of chaos and turmoil emotionally. The bad boys will always win the game because they have the power over these women. When I say the bad boys, you might think, oh, that is toxic. These guys, they provide the natural drama. They are the guy who knows the game. They won't tell the lady where they are at. They don't care if the lady will call them. They are never into a trap of, let me text her, let me know what she's doing. He is the guy who wins the game. You had a date with her on Saturday, and then this is on a Wednesday, she hasn't texted you, she hasn't called you. 11 a.m. on a Wednesday, you text her. What's up? Hi, cutie. You busy? So to her own way of understanding you, she knows, mm, I really got him. He's triggered because I haven't texted him. I thought he had something important that he wanted to address. I am controlling his life. He's really invested. I knew he will call. I knew he will text. Text her if you have any important information and go straight to the point. Women will create behaviors and characters that doesn't exist just to undervalue a man. Her work is not to reply, it's to take long before picking your call. That creates the drama that she needs. You will think that maybe she is high value, but that has been her whole game. So that you cannot recognize your value, you can't recognize your worth, you have to chase after her. She can fully be satisfied that she was right and you ain't worthy. To create the small actions, the small behaviors that would trigger your mind so that you can get emotionally invested. You can be direct, show her that you really want to meet her, but if she can't give you a chance, it ain't that serious to you. It won't bother you. That allows a woman to always show up. She knows she can't control your emotions. She can't control your world or your life. Remember, the last conversation that you had, you were the last guy who texted her. This ain't the guy. I'd rather go to that bad boy whom I will need to pursue, who will create the thrill in my life. He's spending his time with his friends, his brothers, his parents, and he ain't investing in this lady. And she will go after him all in because he's the guy who creates the chaos. Emotionally, you are in control of her life. You can complain that that is toxic, that is manipulating, that is controlling, but you can all agree one thing. These are the men who win. These are the men who are labeled as the different guys. He got the game. He wins over women. His work is to convince the lady that he can't be tested. He's already qualified. He's already selected. And the game won't work on him. He is protecting himself. He can't go through tests that most of you men go through. When she can get enough time, to be with you, she is closing in in you. The more time you spend with her, the more tests you get. But the bad boy doesn't give a woman that chance to gauge him, to understand him. And because she is emotionally invested, attached, now him pulling away further will allow the lady to stay. This is the relationship that she will build. And he is the right bait for survival. The bad boys might be toxic as you understand them to her own world this is the right bet that is what thrives her that is what keeps her excites her she really needs the man more than the man needs her this is what she has been looking for in her life and all the men are the same to her apart from this bad boy Every famous guy, every celebrity, let's talk about Drake, let's talk about Chris Brown, all of these guys, they are also tested. You will try to show her that I am a busy man, this is my life, this is my routine, that is boring to her. She will stand there and tell you, oh, so you are still going to work, it's on a Saturday. You will take her out on a date in the same hotel, she will go, mm. the same hotel, the same pizza, the same cheese. This is boring. That is not what she wants. She wants chaos. Mm. Work again? She know you have to pay the bill. She know you need the money. She know this is your business. But because she asked you those questions, you lower your gut and try to explain to her that this is your business and you need to be there. You need to pay the bills and you have to work. She knows that shut her down and the worst thing is it won't stop there 
as far as you've been dating maybe for four years or five years, she will drag this argument, chaos that she has created. And at this point, she doesn't really respect you. What is the way forward? You provide everything for them, but it's never enough. They are always thriving on chaos and on drama. The way forward is to shut her down. If that can't work, ignore her. She will start the argument. She will want you to argue. So you must not pay attention to her chaos. You can walk away and the door is open for her. And don't bluff. If she can't respect you, you have to fully show her that this relationship is working on your own terms. Do you know what? She will respect you. And at this moment, this is a turn on for her. This is the different guy, the man who can move her. The moment you start thinking about her not being attracted to you and you need to prove your value to her, she's got you emotionally and you are investing in her emotionally and you are the weak drug. You are the weak Kanye. Even when you have a billion dollar, you are the weak drug. Every guy who is better, every guy who has a value, every guy who is rich, they get the same vibes from women. Her work is to make sure that a man doesn't recognize his value and the guy is always under her. That has been her whole game, drama and chaos. But if she can meet with a bad boy who can naturally provide those chaos and drama for her, she will settle down with him. She will marry him. He is the special guy. You think that, oh, maybe I don't have the money. Maybe I am poor. I don't have the six pack. I am not attractive enough. That is why I am getting whooped by these women with the same behaviors, with the same characters. The rich men, they get the same characters. If they don't know how to handle these women, they are getting dumped. It doesn't matter. So to her own way of understanding you, you have to be low value. She has to be high value so that she can close in on you and you can regret losing her. The door is right open. You don't feel okay me working, walk away. You don't appreciate that I have taken you out on a date. I'm walking away. Pay for your bill. That is the special guy for her. I can't give you by detail and word by word how women act and how you are supposed to go about it. But you have to know that there are some things internally that you have to be aware of as a man for you to take control of a woman. You can try to apply the same actions that you use to get a certain lady with a different woman. You will end up being dumped the same way. And you ask yourself, do I have a problem? Yes, you have a problem. Trying hard to prove yourself to the lady that you deserve her. As if she is the prize. Women are only attracted to indifference. I don't feel like I want her. I don't feel attracted to her. She has to really prove herself to me that is attractive to her. And until you accept that, this game will never stop. You have to make the world right for you. I'm the man. You are playing by my rules. I say it because I know it's right. You give women chances, she will lead you to the gates of hell. You will burn, she will exit. Have you seen some sense in these conversations? Now, have you really watched up to this point? If you have, then kindly comment down below by saying, I am with you. And until next time, be safe, take care, and let's have peace.